Um, hello, yeah, all right. Um, basically, I'm just gonna do, um, I don't know, I kinda just wanna talk about my keyboards and do a little test before it because I will be, because I am selling my keyboard, <laughs> so I might as well do a sound test on a, a before. So, you know, as like a reference frame, because this is my first, this is really my first um, keyboard sort of that I kind of, you know, put effort into. Because this, this keyboard um, is an Ant Pro 2, as you can see, Open Lab Ant Pro 2. But it's, this is actually my second Ant Pro 2. The first one I had, I had clicky white, kale box whites, man. And... You know, back then, it whatever. They're actually a good clicky. They're actually very good clicky. One of the uh, prob definitely because you know box clickies, great clickies. It was a light clicky, and it clicked twice. Very tactile. A lot of noobs liked it. A lot of my friends liked it. But uh, this one, I wanted to actually like fully put a lot of effort into this. I got Ampro too. Uh, one of the th reasons why, because of the 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 smart functions over here. For example, if I held it, it would be a shift. But if I tap it, it'll be up arrow. And uh, like if I tap menu, it'll be left arrow. Tap down, it'll be a down. I mean, tap down. I tap Windows key, it'll be a down. I, yeah, and then control, it will be a right arrow key. But if I hold it, it'll act normal. You know that I found that really cool for a sixty percent. And I don't know. I guess I just didn't. I don't know. Maybe. But I guess I should have just gotten a 65% or I could have used a 60% with um, with arrow keys, you know, but I th found this was really cool. That's why I wanted the and pro 2 PCB with the case I, I could have upgraded it to like a uh, Like like and pro 2 has like just actual aftermarket cases because it's a pretty popular board They have like wooden cases. I guess I did I kind of wanted to keep my budget down inside the switches are Gateron, uh Milky, uh, Gateron Milky housing uh, yellows, lubed with Crytox two hundred five grade zero, and filmed with Deskies films. Um, I guess Gat yellows are awesome. Uh, of course, everyone knows how good they are. Uh, Deskies film because Deskies film is like kind of a unique kind of film that I really wanted to have and try for the first time. One of the things that I didn't do was I didn't like pre-cut the films like. Cause there's like a it's like a box thing and I guess it's good to cut those but back in the day I guess back when I made this that wasn't really too well known uh, but I guess you can hear maybe the stem brushing up against it uh, if depending how I, well I placed it but uh, and also the keycaps are Taihao cubic profile ABS and I guess they have a little old retro look basically uh, I get my setup here is kind of yucky right now cuz uh, I, I didn't want to I have a lot of other stuff on my other desk I wanted to sell this board because this board has been mine for a long time And I kind of wanted a better board because I was getting back into keyboards a little bit and oh my god The windows doing a vacation. They yo shut up. Okay, um, but uh, let me let me just let me actually just go in Yeah, all right and um, I am selling this to get more funds because I ordered actually five more keyboards. Well, actually, I have to build five more keyboards, and um, I won't. I guess I, I guess I won't say what they are because I think I'll probably be documenting my builds on those. But, uh, but actually, no. I, I, and also, I don't know if I'm selling any of them because maybe I'll change my mind in the future. I don't want to promise myself and then I don't have it, and then you know that that feels like lying. So. But five key, I'm getting a lot of keyboards, and so I was gonna sell this one to get, cause I got like freaking oh shit, I spent so much money, I should, I should, you know. But yeah, uh, first we're gonna start. Uh, one of the things did, oh yeah, I also kind of foamed uh, modded it. I didn't do any other stuff, cause back in the day, I guess there wasn't much other. I I, I forgot if I band aid modded the the stabs, not holy modded, but like on the PCB. I don't think there was holy mod back when I. Uh, uh, you know, back in like whatever year, or I when I did it, but yeah, of course. Oh yeah, I did go through all the desoldering process. That was a hell. You should not do it, you know. But it was very fun. This is a very board that I was really proud of because I basically this basically has no resemblance, no same parts to the N Pro Two except PCB, uh, and stab and case, and you know that that's really it. I found it, you know, it, it's it's something that a lot of people did, don't do because it's such a tedious and I kind of wanted, you know, prove dedication or something. But yeah, start. I uh, foam, instead of foam, 
my friend and I both, we both, uh, we both, um, we, we had like a group buy thing and he got like some car dampening material. It, it, it definitely mutes the sound a lot. So, uh, maybe if I used a different sort of material, it would have muted it less and made it, you know, had maybe better acoustics. Cause if you hear here, it's, it's not the greatest sounding. I'm not too proud of the sound per se because of, I guess, um, it's very filled. I used two layers. Maybe I should have left it uh, one layer so we could actually have some sound in the case that could, you know, come out, whatever, instead of being pretty muted. So. Ooh. Stab, backspace. Before I had some, I just cleaned it out and I just added some lube. Uh, some dielectric grease, I mean, to the back, cause, uh, you should, you could do that every time it gets, if it, if it eventually gets rattly. Uh, now it's a little better. It's not, I would say it's a little bit mushy though. I should have definitely, I did not tune the stabs back, I guess, when I made it, I did not tune the stabs, so that's kind of tragic. Uh, I mean, so I did not tune the wires, and I did not holy mod it or anything, I guess if people do that, or, and I did not... Uh, I guess I don't think I clipped. I don't think I clipped the stab correctly back, back too. I might have held like a nub, so that's tragic. Although, right now, there might be a little ticking on this side. This one is a little lighter per se. There's a little ticking on the on the right shift, on the right on the left side. The spacebar kind of sucks balls, <laughs> as you can see. There's a small ticking on both sides. Right shift is okay, but it's maybe a bit mushy. And when typing, the biggest difference, the biggest like noticeable things is the space bar. I mean the space bar, as you can see, I'm going to go like wada wada and yada yada yada. You know? It's a very different sound. You know, back in the day, there wasn't, I, I guess, I don't think, from my knowledge, I had no idea of any, like, particularly uh, making tray mount boards more flexy. There wasn't no, like, O-ring mount type stuff or uh, that I ever heard of, I guess. Nowadays, that you know, nowadays it's kind of evolved. And I guess now I wanted some more modern builds. So this is why I am um, I'm going to this one, even though I really like the the look of it, and uh, it has lasted me forever. And that's really it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah.